a train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed if the train would have been 6 km faster it would have been taken 4 hour less than the standard time and if the train were slower by by what here by 6 km per hour here it is 6 yes sir yes sir it is by 6 km per hour like this yes sir it would have taken 6 hour more than the scheduled time find the length of the journey okay so a train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed so let the uniform speed of the train be x and find the length of the journey so let us okay so let the case 1 case 2 first of all let the uniform speed be x ha na let the uniform uniform means constant uniform speed of the train b x km per hour correct let the speed of the train b x km per hour if the train would have been 6 km faster okay case one is and the distance is fixed okay what they are saying find the length of the journey means distance so let the distance be uh, y and let the distance be y kilometer per hour okay uh, sorry y kilometer okay and we know that speed is equals to distance by time correct now see here what is the first case a train covered a certain distance at uniform speed if the train would have now see this case case 1 case 1 in case 1 they are saying if the train would have been 6 km per hour faster okay means in case 1 if the train is faster then the speed is in this case when the train is faster then the speed is how much faster if the train would have been 6 km per hour faster means the speed will be the 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 uniform speed is x but now the speed speed is 6 km per hour faster so the new speed will be x plus 6 yes or no okay what is the formula for time time is equals to distance upon speed yes or no yes sir now uh, uh, if the train is uh, uh, moving in uniform speed then uh, the time taken will be distance is y and the speed is x yes or no but here the time will be here in this case the time will be time is what distance upon speed distance is same but the speed is x plus 6 yes or no okay now what is the time difference they had given this will taken 4 hour less okay 4 hour less than the usual schedule this is the usual schedule okay correct so tell me which time is greater this one or this one which one is greater sir usual ha huh? sir time greater is usual y by x yes because the denominator is lesser so greater minus lesser is equals to difference so the first equation will be like this y upon x minus y upon x plus 6 and this difference is 4 correct okay yes sir hmm now next is this is usual schedule okay now and if the train would have slower by 6 means in the case 2 what they had given uh, the, 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 the 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 speed will be um, slower by 6 so uh, the uniform speed was x but now slower means 6 minus okay correct now the time will be time is what distance upon speed so what is distance distance is same y and speed is x minus 6 now tell me which time is greater this one or this schedule one which is greater 
this one is greater because the denominator is less x minus 6 so this will be greater yes or no so take the difference of these two times this time and the schedule time and this difference is now given as 6 hours more 6 okay this is the first equation now and this is the second equation here okay correct find the value of y by x from here as well as from there so y by x from here from first equation now see very carefully y by x is equals to 4 plus 4 plus this one will transpose here so 4 plus y by x uh, 4 plus y by x plus 6 this is the third equation and similarly do for this one do for this one this will go there and 6 will come here so you will get y by x minus 6 minus 6 is equals to y by x correct so this equation you are getting let us say this is fourth means y upon x minus 6 now see here y see here y by x is equals to y by x minus 6 minus 6 y by x minus 6 minus 6 correct this is fourth now see these two equations in these two equations the left hand side are equal so the right hand side will be equal means 4 plus y upon x plus 6 is equals to y upon x minus 6 minus 6 okay now see this will come here so 4 plus 6 plus y upon x plus 6 very complicated question x minus 6 4 plus 6 is 10 here and uh, y upon x plus 6 is equals to y upon x minus 6 okay now yes. solve this will multiply here so 10 into x plus 6 and plus y divided by x plus 6 is equals to y by x minus 6 okay now solve uh, 10 into x 10x plus 10 into 6 is 60 plus y divided by x plus 6 is equals to y upon x minus 6 now do the cross multiplication so this whole thing will be multiplied by x minus 6 so 10x plus 60 plus y into x minus 6 is equals to x plus 6 into y means y into x plus 6 now multiply how you will multiply this can be written like this x minus 6 into 10x plus 60 plus y is equals to y into x is y x or x y you can write and plus 6 into y is 6 y now x into 10x is 10x square plus x into 60 60 x plus x into y is x y now minus 6 into 10x minus 60x minus plus minus 6 is a 36 and minus plus minus 6 into y is 6y is equals to xy plus 6y. Now this xy and xy gets cancelled. Okay. Because both have same sign. And uh, very complicated question. 60x, 60x gets cancelled. Okay. This 10x square. And um, 
yes minus 360 even the last year uh, this question came to me yes it is very com complicated question very confusing question 6y is equals to 6y and these types of question they are not going to give an examination don't take don't take action you will get in sample papers but they will not ask okay now okay. 10 x square 360 is equals to 12y because it will go there so 12y okay correct yes sir yes now take two common so take two common so two here 5x square minus 360 um is equals to 12y 2 and 2 6 -a. so what you are getting here is 5x square minus if you are taking two common then it will become 180 180 is equals to 6y okay now what i will do the value of y find from here and put in an equation very complicated question 5x square minus 180 and whole divided by 6 this is the value of y <coughs> now put in an equation is there any equation you have either in this or this again so when you put the value of x here y here so what was the equation y by x is equals to 4 plus y upon x plus 6 4 plus y upon x plus 6 and what is y here in terms of y this one 5x square minus 5x square minus 180 divided by 6 take this here again so y upon x minus y upon x plus 6 is equals to 4 and take y common from here so y common so you will get 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 6 is equals to 4 and this y will go in the denominator so 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 6 is equals to 4 upon y 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 6 is equals to now see here 4 upon y can be written as 4 into 1 upon y what is 1 upon y 1 upon y is the reciprocal of y so 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 6 is equals to 4 into what is the reciprocal of y this reciprocal the value of y so 6 upon 5x square minus 180 now this will come here so x plus 6 into 1 x plus 6 minus x into 1 is x in denominator you will get x into x plus 6 is equals to 4 6 the 24 in the denominator you will get 5x square minus 180 now see this x x gets cancelled and you will get in next step 6 upon in the numerator 6 and in denominator you will get x into x x square in next step x x get cancelled 6 upon x into x x square and plus x into 6 6 6 so x square plus 6 x is equals to 24 no one is going to ask this question silly question okay. 5x square minus 180 even I, I had solved this question last year too okay for one student he okay. was very very about this but and and you know they had given in a school examination in pre-board okay. even the teacher was not able to solve the question <laughs> now see here <laughs> six one the six six four the okay now uh yes what you are getting here one upon x square plus 6x is equals to 4 upon 5x square minus 180 now do the cross multiplication so 5x square means the concept you should know what was the concept okay larger time minus lesser time is equal to the time difference the question means the concept you should know because uh -huh. 
um, um, uh, you will get uh, questions in uh, quadratic polynomial and quadratic equations okay even here you are okay. getting quadratic so 4 into x square plus 6x 5x square minus 180 is equals to 4 into x square is 4x square plus 4 6 the 24x okay now this will come here so 5x square minus 4x square x square and this will come here so minus 24x minus 180 is equals to 0 okay now find the value of x is there any two numbers x is equals to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac upon 2a so minus b what is b is minus 24 plus minus root over b is minus 24 and the minus 4 into a into c what is a, a is the x square coefficient 1 and c is a minus 180 okay minus 180 and divided by 2 into a what is a is 1 so minus minus plus 24 plus minus square root of minus 24 square is 576 and minus minus plus and 4 into 18 is 72 720 divided by 2 into 1 is 2 and 24 and plus minus root over 576 plus 720 1296 divided by 2 is square root of 1296 so uh, 24 plus minus root over 1296 is 36 okay correct now yes, sir. solve it you will take two values 24 minus 6 by 2 and one time 24 plus 36 by 2 correct here you will get negative value so you can't take because the x was what a speed a speed can't be negative okay so 6 plus 4 is 10 and here you will get 6 upon 2 so 30 kilometer per hour so this is the speed now this is the value of x okay this is the speed but what they had asked they had asked for the value of y so what was y y in terms of x is this so we will find y so y is equals to 5x square minus 180 by 6 है ना? 5x square minus 180 by by um, 6 okay? So 5 into what is x is 30. So 30 square minus 180. Uh, 30 square is 900. So 5 into 900 minus 180 divided by 6 5 9 is a 45 40 500 minus 180 divided by 6 now subtract and solve 4500 minus 180 4320 4320 okay so 4320 divided by 6 and 4320 divided by 6 is 4320 divided by 6 is 720 kilometer. Check your answer sheet. The distance is 720 kilometer or not? Sir, 720, sir. 7? 20 kilometer, na? Yes, sir. Na? Uh, so, I am ending this, ending not ending. I am going to exit this class so that this recording can be conserved, okay? So it will be uh, helpful for other students too, but they are not going to give an examination. I think so. But yes, the question is related to class 10th. The question is related to class 10th. You can't ignore. You can't ignore. Yes. The question is of, uh, is, uh, of your standard, but it is very time taking. But you are seeing uh, when you will do the revision of this question. Now you will see the, uh, the square roots are not complicated here. See here. This is the perfect square. Yes or no? Yes, Everything sir. is uh, uh, getting cancelled uh, in a very clear manner. Yes or no? So nothing uh, is a special means. Uh, but yes, the complicated, the process is complicated only. Okay. Correct. Okay. Joining soon.